Uh, I'm delighted to be joined by you, Liam, uh, on signing for the Rovers. Um, you've got your future sorted out for the next couple of seasons. How does it feel to join Wraith Rovers? I'm delighted. Uh, you know, obviously, we, we played Wraith last year, um, seen what a good team they were. Um, as soon as I got told, obviously, they were, they were interested for me. It was a bit of a no brainer um, from seeing how good they were last year. Spoke to the manager, um, the style of play, um, what his plans were for obviously myself and and for this season coming and and uh, you know his aspirations. It was it was a no brainer. It was a really easy decision. Yeah. And so um, I, I just thinking about that decision, um, what what aspect of our play was it that attracted you to to Wraith Rovers when you first heard we were interested in you? Um, well, like I say, from seeing last year, um, you know. Very happy to play out from the back. Boys that are comfortable on the ball, um, a lot of energy. Um, full backs getting high, um, up and down, which is a part of my game that that I enjoy. Um, I think they had, like I say, direct wingers and, and boys on the ball that were very comfortable. Uh, and I think a lot of the, the things make football enjoyable, regardless of winning or losing. You enjoy that, but by doing that, I think it just gives you a, a good base to, to go and get in, in results. Yeah. A key aspect of you joining us was uh, the chance to return to full-time football. Um, tell us about um, how you enjoyed play playing part-time with Alwa and Stranra uh, before that uh, and about your job away from football um, before you obviously came back to full-time football. Yeah, so obviously um, the first time I went part-time was with Stranra um, and then I had a six-month spell at um, Dumbarton and then before signing with Alwa. Uh, and all my time, I've loved every club I've been at. Um, we've got a lot, of, a lot of people to say thank you to. Um, and then I was working as a an SLA, which is like a teaching assistant at a school, um, helping kids um, a lot of time with, with difficulties, if it's maybe autism or ADHD. Um, and to be honest, there wasn't anything else that would have made me leave my job. Um, I was doing higher English as well and, and making sure that I was on the, the right path that once I come out of football fully that I've got something to fall back on. Uh, but you know, the chance to, to come to Wraith Rovers and, and play full time football um, with this style of play for me it was uh, it was a no brainer yeah. so it was really easy. You were saying just off camera before we started recording there that um, you've got some good memories of playing against Wraith Rovers here. Um, there was a game here when you were with Stranra that sticks out in the mind. Tell us about that one. <laughs> yeah, so it was literally the game um, before um, I'd moved to Dumbarton. Um, we played Wraith Rovers and I picked the ball up. It was a long ball and I went into centre mid and took a touch and went to play it back to my centre half. Um, but I got picked out and um, one of the strikers, I can't actually remember who at the time, but managed to go through and slot it and it was 100% my fault. Uh, and then after the game, I can get remember getting um, pulled from the gaffer and, and getting asked... Uh, Sorry, I was um, getting pulled for the gaffer, and I was thinking that I was going to get um, a bit of a, you know, what's going on type of thing. Um, but then he ended up telling me that um, the Barton were actually interested and wanted to sign me, so I was, it was a bit of chalk and cheese. One minute I thought I was in trouble, and next I was getting a, a, a move. So it wasn't the greatest of memories, and, and hopefully I can uh, make a couple of better ones here. Yeah, good, good. Um, Another question that we always ask new signings, and we, and we, and we know what the answer is going to be, but um, you're coming here, uh, you're going to be playing at left back, you're going to be playing beside the likes of Kyle Benedictus and Christophe Berra, amongst others, and you're going to have people in front of you that have, that have been over the course before. But are you setting yourself any targets whilst at Wraith Rovers, uh, or, or do you just take each game as it comes? I think I'll just take each game as it comes. Um, like I said, I think the team last year. Um, were incredible um, from seeing the way they play and where they finished in the league. Um, I think they'll actually be a bit disappointed that they couldn't go one better because um, I think they, they had everything to do it. Um, but regardless, they should be really proud. Um, for myself, it is just taking it one game at a time. Um, one thing that I'll always give is, is hard work uh, and 100%, um, even when things aren't going right for me, that's one thing that I'll, I can promise. Um, so. I'll just hope to cement my place in the team uh, and contribute to to what the likes of other players have done last season and hopefully it, it turns out good. Yeah. And finally, Liam, um, as a defender, as a fullback, it's really important the people you have beside you and behind you. I mean, you've got years, decades of experience in the game. You know, Jamie McDonald, Christoph Berra, Kyle Benedictus, he's only 28 or 29, but he's got done so much in the game. 
it'd be good to have that solid base beside and behind you. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know obviously I'm not maybe classed as young anymore, 25, but I'm still young enough. But I think it's a good balance having experience and then still being able to learn so much off of um, players like Jama, um, Benedictus and, and Berra, um, guys who have who have been at the top level and done it and consistently played for a long time. So even though I'm maybe not classed as really young anymore, there's no doubt I can just keep learning. Um, and from all the other players on the team, um, being on a full-time basis, training with these players, seeing how they interact, things that make them tick, that'll, um, that'll only benefit me and hopefully the team as well. Great. Thanks for that, Liam. Good luck. Perfect. Thank you.